creative way to repurpose old lift tickets and transform them into vintage ski pass coasters. This page. That's right. Yeah, These so you know fantastic. what I was just realizing, they're travertine tiles. Yeah. And I also use those in my DIYs when I'm fixing up a house. <laughs> so, so you're just using them everywhere. So you just use them everywhere. Okay. But actually, no, I have to tell you, this was inspired by a Hallmark movie. You know, the movie was One Winter Proposal, which yep. was a follow-up to One Winter Weekend, yes. where this fabulous foursome goes up to the snow. They head back to the ski resort where it all began. Here is a picture of the characters Megan and Sean, where they hit the slopes and see the tiny little lift pass she's wearing there. Yeah. If you zoom in real close, I am making that, I actually remade that to make these coasters, but also we all have, I think, ski passes laying around. If they're not attached to your jacket, yeah. they're laying around and we can scan them and have so much fun with them because they represent memories. I'll tell you one guy who's got a few ski passes laying around is this guy right here. I love it. it. before, we're big skiers. I know you are too, Matt's yes. family. We love to ski. It's my favorite. There's Vanessa and I on Aww. the right now. Okay, so uh, what materials do we need for this? Okay, so we need that travertine tile that I was talking about. Okay. Um, I used a four by four here. Um, and those you can literally get in the tile section of your of your hardware store. And then what you need are the actual passes. So like this is from Big Bear. Uh, all you need to do is scan it in. You need to print this on a laser printer. So if you don't have a laser printer at home, take it to your local print shop. Okay. They will print it for you because it's the only way it works. And I tried both ways and it doesn't work any other okay, way. That's good to no, yes, um, and then this, although it looks very fabulous, this is, I actually had this at home, and if you don't have one of these, you can use a credit card, but this is like a wallpaper um, smoother. Okay. You'll need that and a little sandpaper, and that is coming up soon. And that's it, and okay. then we're ready to go. Okay, yes. so what's the first step then? Okay, so you can see this was um, Clara Lake Resort, and now you see what I've done here is I've flipped the image. Okay. You have to flip the image to make it look all right. So um, in order to do that, I have it on our website now because it took me forever to find out how to do it. It's actually really easy once you know in Microsoft Word, but until you find that, you'll be um, you'll be using some words, <laughs> yes, that you shouldn't. That's um, why we love it when you guys kind of figure all this stuff out. We figure it out for you guys. Okay, yes. so it's really easy. You flip an image. Okay, so we're gonna only start with the backwards image. So this one is backwards. Mm -hmm. We're gonna cut it to size. Cut it to the size of your tiles. I'm using four by four tiles, four inches by four inches. So. What you want to do, so now that looks looks backwards, right? But that's a good thing. Okay, so we're going to take our Mod Podge and make sure this is clean and dry. You'll have to remember that uh, travertine is actually very porous. So you can see like the holes in it here. Yep. That will actually not absorb the picture. So if you're trying to save some letters or you really want to make sure that it's clear during one part, avoid that or just use a different Got one. Got it, or rotate the, uh, exactly. rotate the tile so it doesn't mess up uh, something that you want exactly. to make sure Exactly, okay. So then you okay. go right on the front of this here. Okay, easy enough. Yep, but you think you're doing it backwards because you're going right on the front. Normally, you would go on the back and then finish it in the front. Sure. Okay. And as you're doing this, I'm thinking about all the lift passes that I've had. Over I know. The years. You know the one when you used to kind of collect them on your ski jacket. On your ski jacket, yes. Right. Okay. So then you just put it on top, and then um, you can feel. Give that a feel. Okay. Like you can tell that you can still feel the yeah. glue underneath. Yeah. For so sure. what you're doing here is you're going to hold it, and you'll kind of see out of the sides the extra Mod Podge that'll come out, um, and. That just means you're doing it right. So you want to make sure there's no air pockets because air pockets means that it's going to be blank in that area. Okay, so then what you want to do once it's good. Nice job, that looks perfect. Thank you. You're going to want to put it under a brick or anything you have that's heavy, a book. Right. I actually used my own, these are my own coasters because that kind of created the weight. Right, so you just kind of stacked them up. Exactly. Right. So then how do you, I'm, I'm sure the next step is removing the, the Removing weight. it, yes. Right. You want to make it, you know, uh, so many websites say, leave it 24 to 48 hours to dry. I tried it after 12 hours and it was totally fine. Okay. But you can leave it or you can, you can do it after 12. So then you take a little bit of warm water and a paper towel and then you just start rubbing it away. Really? Yep, and you just keep going and you can kind of see it come together there. You can see the pass. Look at this. Just keep on going. Yep. And doing this is making me want to get out and ski this season. It <laughs> Have you been skiing yet this, this season? Please? Well, I mean, we've done six remodels in Big Bear, our local. Uh, yes, yes, yes. I've not skied once. Okay, okay so you okay. kind of see, you just keep working at it until it. it's all gone. And then you kind of see like there's a buildup around the edge. You can go ahead and take some sandpaper, sand that off. 
sand it all the way around. so impressive. Isn't it so much yeah, fun that it actually it worked? It I was really so excited. Worked. It literally was magic, came through, and as you're, as you're doing that, I'm thinking to myself, like, we we're using ski passes, obviously. Here, yes. But you can use really like any image and do the same. Any same image, technique. yes. And as a matter of fact, this image right here, I'm going to take this. Okay. Um, look how cute this is. This is a little four by four. These oh. are a picture of my friends when they got engaged. And I'm going to tell you more about that later. But even with this, you're going to want to flip the image. You know what I was thinking? It would have been on her wrong finger if I didn't flip the image. Right. So make sure, even if it's a picture, you're flipping the image. You flip the image, but don't worry, it comes back. It, it comes, comes back, back. And faces the right way up. And I love, I love how kind of rustic or, or sort yes. of vintage or worn it looks. It has a really good authentic feel to it. It does. It? And you know, if you do have old passes, they are vintage. This one is from 1950s. Oh. I wasn't there. It well, but I, I, know I found it. To tell me yes. <laughs> Paige, uh, fantastic. From one ski lover to another. Yes. Very, very well done. As always, full instructions will be at hallmarkchannel.com.